Then we're creating a new balcony on the concourse along Waterloo Station. As part of that we create new retail units on level one, uh, we create new rises through the building and new plant rooms on the roof. We have ten lifts to get on the roof, ten items of plants and, and materials. Now we looked at uh, cranes to get on the roof. There were ten loads over 182 metres of roof uh, and the, the sites where we could actually position the crane would not have allowed us to pick up more than two of those loads at any one time. Additionally, the roof has actually got five different levels on it and you can't transport stuff across it. So each load had to go into the area it needed to go to. Otherwise, we ended up with another operation to lift it to the next level. If we'd done it with a crane, we'd have probably been over two or possibly even three weekends. In reality, the road closure we had was from nine o'clock the previous night to allow us time to bring the loads in, get them all correctly stacked out on the road where we wanted to lift them, and within the morning, once the helicopter arrived, within 45 minutes he was gone, half an hour after that, the barriers were taken away and the road was back open again. Working with the Raiders was great. We've employed them to manage the actual lifts themselves and carry out the sling in. And the way, the way they approached it and the way they carried out the operation on the day was superb. Bam, as far as I'm aware, haven't used helicopters before. I would certainly consider using them again. It was a good solution for us here. Uh, we discussed it at a high level within the company, uh, the option. And the, and the safety issues surrounding the use of a helicopter, we satisfied everybody that it is a viable alternative to a train. The end result, we were all delighted. When the last lift was landed, handshakes all around, high fives, was delighted. Great operation. My favourite part of the operation on the day was to actually look over the horizon and see the helicopter actually arriving, following the Thames in, and start to hover over the building. And as he come down and picked up the first load, and we landed that first load, I knew that I just knew in my heart then that it was going to be successful. <laughs>